Greetings all, this is Max. Just wanted to let everyone know, it's got two days until Kent goes home, home monitoring. Um, for, I think, a month or something. He doesn't have hardly any time left on his sentence, so that was a great victory. Getting his charges thrown out. And now we got to work on Paul Hansen. So we need to pray for pray for him. There is a great interview with Paul that's up on Lone Star 1776's channel. And I suggest everyone go check it out. It's only 22 minutes long, but 22 minutes is longer than the 15 minutes that I have, thanks to Ravi Zacharias. I'll put the little pop-up link thing, if I can, on the screen, so you can go check that out. I'll also put it in the description. Um, so you can hear Paul Hansen's side of the story. He's an administrator for the trust for the um, Dr. Dino Ministries or or whatever they called it, him and several other people. But he got you know roped into it essentially for mailing a letter to notify people that are interested in purchasing stolen property from Kent Hovind, effectively stolen property by the IRS, that, you know, there's going to be some legal litigation going on when they purchase it because it was improperly seized. And because he sent that letter, he's in prison and he's looking at, you know, anywhere up to five years in prison for mailing a letter. And you can hear his story and everything on here. It's only 22 minutes. I suggest everybody check it out. Um... This is what we're come to here um, in the in these last days. SWAT teamed and imprisoned for mailing a letter. They SWAT team the guy. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. And Paul Hansen's getting his sentencing in a couple of days. Ken Hovind's getting out in a couple of days. And what I'm doing is I'm going to follow it as best as I can. But I can't. Um, I don't want to mirror this video and then break it into a couple of parts and do all that stuff. I uh, did a video like maybe a week or two ago about the post-trib rapture and I got some responses on that about not providing proofs for the pre-trib and you know it's not like I can do that in a quick little video. I mean there's a lot of scriptures to go through. I mean a lot of stuff. It's a very very in-depth study and I did do it and it's 52 minutes long and I can't upload it now so that's what's going on with that anyone who's you know upset about you know oh, I debunked the the post trip but then what do I got well you got the pre-trip and <laughs> like I said you can go to Chuck Missler even Brian Denlinger there's a lot of people out there for pre-trib rapture they can show you all the scriptures um I pretty well just did a Bible study and read through Revelation and a few other places to prove out the pre-trib rapture, but I can't upload it. So what am I going to do now? I don't know yet. Um, I'll probably do uh, some quick vids here on the persecution that's coming down on churches for gay marriage. Now that that's a big, a big, you know, hubbub -hub about, oh yeah, now it's, uh, it's all acceptable, you know, gay marriage. And marriage is defined by the Bible. It doesn't say anything about man and man, woman and woman. But, you know, um, they're coming down on Christian channels, especially hard, and uh, a lot of a lot of different churches. And I'll probably do something to that effect here in the future. I'm not exactly sure. But hopefully we can get in touch with Ravi and get my little band lifted, and then I can upload my pre-trib thing. But in the meantime... Uh, check out Paul Hansen. Uh, stay up to date with what's going on with Ken Hoven at Lone Star 1776. Or, you know, my channel. I'm still going to post whatever I can up. Um, so, yeah. Keep up the good fight. With that, we're going to be out of here.